we're, we're going to wrap up. And, and for the wrap up, I want to talk about the best campaign that you ever ran. I don't know if you have one on the top of your head. So I'll give you a minute to think about it. The best? Like I want to know the what, best. What makes it the best? Like the most profit? Like no, it could, it could be anything. Like that could be in your. You, it could be like uh, okay. So the per, the last person that we did was like, um, it was her. It was her fortieth birthday, and so she did like forty percent off to her list, and she happened to do like forty k in sales in an hour, and she she showed me like the email that she sent and the offer. Awesome, uh, so it could be like it <laughs> could be like that for my birthday. It could be. It could even mm-hmm. be like hey the the best campaign was this, was this video, right? Which is like mm. now a huge asset for you or an email or an ad. It could be any of those things. Mm. So we've had a couple that I would say have gone well, but they're probably things that you would expect, right? Like influencer or, you know, Black Friday, but one that I'll share because I think it's a little different. And so maybe would be interesting is, uh, so I come from this world of clean beauty, you know, clean beauty is now sold at Sephora and Ulta, but it's still in its early days. So there is this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, community, uh, it was started by this one brand and it's called a night for green beauty. And in the early days before my time, this brand founder would, um, host an event, I think in New York and in LA and she had like the OG of clean beauty brands, like the OGs, I should say, of clean beauty brands all in this room. And they would have a night together where like they would all um, have people come in. It was like a pop-up, right? Like people could come in and shop and they would all share it, blah, blah. So after I think, I, so I wasn't involved back then. It was before my time. And then they paused it. And then she came back with it two years later, but turned it into an online event. And in turning it into an online event, you still have to apply to be part of her event. So you know, I, I don't know how she, she polices it. Like if you didn't get in and you said you were part of a night for green beauty, I don't know how anyone, you know, I don't know how that's governed, but basically the idea was, you know, all of these brands, we coalesce around the idea that we believe that clean beauty is the future. We believe it's, you know, the healthiest option that's, we also believe is going to give you your best results. So I apply, I join a night for green beauty it's brands that are new. It's brands that are very well established. We all agree. She picks the day and everybody leading up for, up to it is sharing on social. A Night for Green Beauty is on Thursday. A Night for Green Beauty is on social. So now brands that have 100,000 followers to my 15,000 followers are saying, A Night for Green Beauty is on Thursday. And here are all the brands that are participating. And then she created something that was like, here are all the brands that are participating. Start your wish list. Like, what have you wanted to try from some of these brands? Because FYI, everybody's having a sale on Thursday. All of us are having a sale. We're not having the same sale, but we're all having a sale. And on Thursday, you're, I'm going to blast out to my, uh, so she blasts to her people. Here are the 20 brands that are participating and here's what their sales are. And then even though we, we obviously focused on our own sale, we also said like, here are the other brands that are involved. Check them out. Like, this is the best of, of green beauty. And so we had great results from that. But what I would say was it was a really neat way, I think, to embed us into this green, clean beauty community. But also people who had maybe heard of Sahajan but hadn't bought it were kind of like, huh, okay, well, all of these other brands have given you a little note of credibility. Now I'm going to try. Or now I know it's on sale. So I'm going to buy like your Nourish face cream. And I'm going to buy the cleanser from somebody else. And I'm going to buy somebody else's lip balm. And I'll buy them all in this one day because they're all on sale. But you're also, you're kind of all lending each other support. And the reason I, I, I use that as an example is, you know, we always think of very traditional things like having sales, having influencers, you know, marketing campaigns. But this is, I think, a, a very easy, not easy, I shouldn't say, but a, what I'll call like a cheap and cheerful way of building your community, building your awareness and increasing revenue. Because all of a sudden, like-minded brands are we're all it's i can't think of the phrase but what is it like all tides rides the ship or <laughs> like just don't hold it against me that i don't know that phrase but you know we all inevitably lift each other up and lift up our sails but we're also all throwing each other like a, a nod of of confidence and i i think that that's something as we think of again in the startup world that's